today we discuss about the hybridization of uh, carbon atoms in different uh, carbon compounds okay so already we know uh, the technique the formula to calculate the number of hybrid orbitals with the number of hybrid orbitals uh, uh, we generally calculate the hybridization in particular molecule for the central atom but uh, there is a simple method for carbon atoms uh, there is a separate method for carbon atoms okay now we see how to determine the hybridization in carbon atoms actually this method is also useful for other molecules also but uh, it is not total convenient in other molecules it is perfectly suitable to only carbon molecules okay okay we try to apply this method for other molecules also then you know the what is the difference in the first method and this method okay but as per my suggestion is this method is only suitable for carbon compounds okay uh, first we see the small molecule that is a let's take the methane so first we see the what is the method involves okay the method involves uh, here we calculate the number of sigma bonds in methyl and this method the name number of sigma bonds calculate this sum so the number of the number of sigma bonds of a carbon number of sigma bonds of a carbon so number of sigma bonds of a uh, carbon base is kone uh this method is uh, used for if the number of sigma bonds uh, is equal 4 then that is a uh, sp3 hybridization okay if number of sigma bonds uh, if the number of sigma bonds equal to 3 that is sp2 hybridization if number of sigma bonds 2 that is sp hybridization means uh, the hybridization possibilities of carbon what are the carbon hybridization possibilities sp sp2 sp3 that's it there is no other choice carbon compounds la unte sp untadi sp2 untadi lepo sp3 untadi okay sp3 the higher configure higher hybridizations are not possible for carbon because uh, if you know the if you see the carbon configuration that is a uh, 1s2 2s2 2p2 there is no d orbital is present so d subshell led kabatti dantlo so sn p ki sambandhina hybridization so unta what are sn p hybridizations just sn p hybridizations ante sp ne undali sp sp2 sp3 so d would involve ante there must be d orbital d subshell should be there but in carbon only second shell kabatti अगर डी चॉइस दे दो, so therefore the carbon involve only in sp, sp2 और sp3 इतनी लो ये दो को दांत में इन्वॉल्व होते हैं। okay, we identify with the help of the number of sigma bonds और जब carbon छुट्टू तब लोग का molecule जिसके नाम पर दांत लो, a carbon के इन्हीं sigma bonds में count चार, because it's also from pi bonds also, so see, only we need to count the sigma bonds, sigma bonds four होते हैं। That is sp3. If the number of sigma bonds three was the sp2. If the number of sigma bonds two was the, that is sp hybridization. Okay. Now we see the examples. So we know the methane. Okay. So in CH four means uh, the carbon should form how many bonds? Four, four hydrogens. So cover A. Already we know the structure also. So four. Okay, carbon ki four bonds are there. Bonds compulsory. So therefore, the how many sigma bonds are present uh, for this carbon? For this carbon, how many sigma bonds are present? So. 
there is how many sigma bands? One, two, three, four. Four sigma bands. Four sigma bands covered here. Therefore, what is the hybridization? Sp3 hybridization. Simple. Okay. So here another, another important thing also. In some questions, in some times uh, there is also possibility to ask the questions like uh, how many hybrid orbitals are present? How many pure orbitals? Pure orbitals means uh, unhybridized orbitals. Pure orbitals. Pure orbitals means uh, which are unhybridized or treated as pure orbitals. Okay. So, conditional questions from the carbon chain, carbon chain to the total bonds low. What is hybridization? Next, uh, how many pure orbitals? How many uh, hybrid orbitals? Their ratio at Ladagoch Manaki. So, if every molecule ki hybridization to them, number of hybrid orbitals check to them, number of pure orbitals check to them. Okay. So sp3 hybridization, okay. sp3 is any form of okay. sp3 means uh, sp3 okay. and we know that uh, 4 hybrid orbitals will form. Okay. How many carbon atoms only total okay. 1 carbon on the cavity? Uh, 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. Okay. So it has uh, 4 hybrid, so sp3 a hybridization is question though. That is separate question. What is hybridization? It is one, one type of questions. Okay. Next. Uh, so, how many hybrid orbitals are present? So, sp3 cover K. So, means for a molecule, we can uh, we have to write the three point. The first, uh, hybridization of carbon equals sp3. Next, number of hybrid orbitals. So, sp3 carbon, we know that's 4. Next, number of pure orbitals. Number of pure orbitals. So, the number of pure orbitals means uh, unhybridized. Okay. Pure orbitals means Unhybridized nothing but direct uh, atomic orbitals. Okay, so you bond formation on the unhybridized orbitals. Manam check check. So how many four hydrogens? Actually, the carbon is three, sp three sir. So hydrogen is involved with the s orbit, s sub, s orbital involved with it. And the hydrogen involved in a part in that s. In overlapping to S A S P three S S P three S A overlapping, so four hybrid four uh, pure orbitals. Okay. This is very choice. So carbon ko na four sigma bonds are S P three se. So this is number of uh, what is hybridization, number of hybrid orbitals, number of pure orbitals. So then ke man konsa ratio the pure orbitals ki hybrid orbitals ki what is the ratio? Okay. Uh, therefore, uh, ratio of uh, pure and hybrid orbitals. So, in here it is simply 1 is to 1 ratio. You know, 4, 4, whatever it is in 1 is to 1 ratio. Okay, there are the corner compounds K, okay, E ratio circle. Let's see one more example. <coughs> see the ethane. C two H six, but here important is that uh, how to split these compounds is very important. What is the how to write this formula? For C two H six, no matter what, you have hydration calculate and derive. That's a compulsory. So C H three bond 
Hybridation of C1, the same writing the first carbon, so like this C1, SP3. Same hybridization of uh, second carbon, SP3. Then what is the total number of uh, What is the total number of hybrid orbitals? So then only sp3 any form of four form of it. So sp3 means four form of it. Sp3 four. Sp3 is only four four form of it. Okay, so total is only eight form of it. And what the total molecules? Cut the question. Right, total number of it. Okay. Total. Next, uh, what is the total number of pure orbitals? Pure orbitals means simple. What is it? हाइड्रोजन स्कैल्क्युलेट किया है, ओके, सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स हाइड्रोजन, ठीक है, बिकॉज़ हाइड्रोजन से इन्वॉल्व वाली इन्हें मैंने कि ओनली एस आर बिटल्स, ओके, एस आर बिटल्स इन्वॉल्व वाली एस आर बिटल्स और डायरेक्ट आर बिटल्स और हाइब्रिड इज़ इधर, सो टोटल सिक्स, सिक्स हाइड्रो so hydrogen कंटे कोनी एक को नंबर ऑफ प्यूर आर्बिटल्स होते हैं। Now what is the ratio? Ratio of pure and hybrid. What is the ratio of pure and hybrid? So pure मतलब क्वेश्चन लो एक एक स्टोरेज जोड़ता है इसका ये is pure six hybrid eight. Okay, then what's the ratio? Okay, that's the three to four. I have to write uh, these all steps for every carbon molecule, every carbon compound. Now we see some different compounds, okay. CH3, CH double bond, CH2. So no need to give the name, so it will be become so another another more big topic for naming. Naming is a separate topic. Okay. Just now it is not necessary. Uh, now see expand this. So actually when I expand this, but sir expand the formula. So just in the for example, the why we ex expanded means a uh, number of sigma count shall be. But as well as three hydrogens in the end, but in the sigma one set. For example, the last one, then we expanded them. CH3, this carbon. 
This is CH. This hydrogen top low water flow. It has the problem with double bond CH. If you go to any direction, lo right, there is also no doubt. Okay, okay direction also no level. What meant to? Uh, now this is the expansion. Now the carbon having this carbon is say it is first carbon, second carbon, okay, third carbon. Okay. Uh, now this is this carbon is having how many sigma bonds? Around it one, two, three, four. Four sigma bonds cover take that is sp3. So it is having how many sigmas? One, two, three. So two bonds into one sigma, one pi. So there is only three sigma bonds. Cover to sp2. Then what about this? Three, uh, one, two, three sigma bonds. So three sigma equal also sp2. Okay. So. So, take it out, you know, hydrogen should be direct because I have sigma bond of trip change. Next example, it will be so pretty, so I will expand the sounds from length. Okay. So, CH3 meaning and this is carbon right side of sigma bond of the three hydrogens, hydrogens never involved in pi bond formation. So, hydrogens never involved in pi bond formation because S orbitals. Then, it will be involved by a part of the part of S orbital. As a result, due to the spherical shape, due to the spherical shape, it it is not possible to it to involve in pi bond formation. Okay, so that means when the hydrogen is there, it has pure orbitals, pure orbitals is coach, next is sigma bond is coach. If we are so direct, we are not going to have any hybrid orbitals. Any form of the sp3 means sp3 four form. sp2 in the form of a 3 so sp2 equal in the form of a 3 so therefore when the hybridization of first carbon so again we need to write here okay we need to follow simple method so c1 sp3 4 okay. what is the second carbon sp2 3 form of a third carbon sp2 the integral 3 form it is therefore what is the total number of hybrid orbitals total number of hybrid orbitals how many are 4 for total 10 next important uh, here total number of Pure orbitals. Total number of pure orbitals means generally, if you are taking an example of ethane, methane, or other pi bonds, like one. So, direct the number of hydrogen free system. Okay. Like that. Hydrogen S orbital S S S S S. And the most important form is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six hydrogen. So, six hydrogen is known as S orbitals involved. That's okay. Six. And the other thing is. One more, sorry, I think uh, there is a two pure orbital cell. So pi bond, so pi bond at the form of one again. Hybrid orbitals does not involve in pi bond formation. Hybrid orbitals does not involve in pi bond formation. So if you carbon put into one again, three form of hybrid orbitals. One, two, three. And the hybrid hybrid orbitals uh, only involve in a uh, Sigma bond formation. Hybrid orbitals can form only sigma bonds. They do not involve in pi bond formation. So pi bond formation in the day that is due to the pure orbitals. Okay. So you can under P X cover to P Y cover to P Z. So the clone na P, the clone na P sideways overlap any. And the one pi bond form in the day two pure orbitals overlap over. And the one pi bond in the day simply get two form any. One pi bond forming then take it up two hybrid two pure orbitals involving and a total and it can simple eight. So what is the ratio? Ratio of uh, pure hybrid orbitals. Pure how many? Eight. So ten. So four is to five.
Now I give you formula to calculate the pure orbitals. Now to see the next term. See the next, I will take some other example. Now, calculate the hybridization, determine the hybridization in these molecules. Okay. Now, we write directly the number of sigma bonds. So, what is the number of sigma bonds in this carbon? So, one hydrogen and one sigma bond. Okay. Next, so A2, A3, what are how many sigma bonds? Only one sigma bond. So 3 on 9, there is only one sigma bond is possible. So then expand the awesome level. Okay, expand is say, if you want to the expanded uh, structure, you can expand. One hydrogen, next you get a 3, what are one sigma bond. Total, two sigma bond. Two sigma bonds under that is SP. So what about this carbon? This carbon right side, left side, two carbons. So two, bond, two sigma bonds. 2 sigma bonds and that is also sp. So actually the 1 sp in the tail. Okay, next uh, for this left side 1 sigma bond, right side 1 sigma bond. This hydrogen and nothing but sigma hydrogen is sigma bond like a bridge chain. So total how many sigmas? 1, 2, 3 sigmas. 3 sigmas and that is sp2. That's whatever this fourth carbon. The two hydrogens are the two sigmas. Two hydrogens, two sigmas. A two, uh, one sigma, one, one pi bonds. Compulsory. Two bonds on the There is one sigma, one other pi bond. So total now there is three sigma bonds. So there is sp2. Okay. Next, write the points. So this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon. Okay. What is the first carbon hybridization? SP. How many are there? SP in any form of Two form of Second carbon also SP. How many are formed? Two. Third carbon also, oh sorry, SP to third carbon. How many will form? Three hybrid orbitals form of C4. Fourth carbon also SP2. So how many will form? There is three. So what is the total number of hybrid orbitals now? The six, four, ten. Means, sir. Uh, uh, write the general points. Total number of hybrid orbitals, how many? Three, three. So individual already we know that. But the ratio to the ratio of the total child. Next, one more important, the total number of uh, pure orbitals. Like the pure orbitals, uh, so only the bigger size, the number of carbons, uh, number of pi bonds involved today, uh, it has become somewhat critical to calculate the Number of pure orbitals. In number of pure orbitals, okay, just uh, now I will give a formula. So number of actually the number of pure orbitals are hydrogen is equal to H if there is no pi bonds. So pi bonds lake up there. There is the hydrogen's number as H. But uh, so if uh, our molecules uh, different examples is good, we are getting more pi bonds. So pi bonds for number that like this called a number of pure orbitals equal to have a formula that. Uh, Number of hydrogens and two into two into number of pi bonds with the help of this formula we can calculate. Okay, so just take it as a formula. Just remember it as a formula. There is a number of pure orbitals. Okay. Uh, now we see how many pure orbitals are present in this molecule. So total how many hydrogens are there? 1, 
two, three, four. Only four hydrogens. Two, three, four, four hydrogens. This is four plus two into number of pi bonds. So how many number of pi bonds? How many number of pi bonds? एक रात ट्रिपल बांड लो टू पाई बांड्स एक रात डबल बांड लो वन पाई बांड अंटे थ्री पाई बांड्स टोटल का एक रात वन टू थ्री पाई बांड्स नाउ इट्स फोर इट्स आल्सो हाइंग सो टेन सो व्हाई वर दे आर मल्टीप्लाइंग टू मीन्स वो का पाई बांड फॉर्म हो वाला अंटे टू सर टू प्यू आप इधर साइडेज ओवर � Ratio of pure and hybrid. That is one is So let's see, uh, see one more example. Now, what are the hybridizations? Okay. Now, direct check the what is the number of sigma bonds? So, sigma bonds how many? Three hydrogens and the three sigma bonds, one sigma bond. So, four sigmas that is sp3. Here, how many sigmas? One, two, three. So, chloride also having sigma bond with them. So, hydrogen to put a sigma bond. There is a, therefore four sigmas sp3. So, here what is that? Uh, Three bonds to one sigma in the left side one sigma only two sigma say that is sp. So it is also same condition right side left side one sigma one one sigma total two sigmas sp. So what about this three hydrogen center sigma one hydrogen sigma ne. that is a four sigmas four sigma so chhene ante that is a sp three. Okay so these are the hybridization of uh, carbon atoms. This will like first is the first this take there's a first carbon, second, third, fourth. Here five carbons are present. First, second, third, fourth. So here five carbons are present. Okay. Uh, therefore, what is the first carbon hybridization? Second, third. What is the first carbon hybridization? So sp3, sp3 means any form of a 4 form of a, so c2 also sp3, 4 form of a, next uh, third carbon sp, only 2 form of a, so fourth carbon also sp, 2 form of a, what is our fifth carbon, it is involved in sp3, uh, sp3, so we can have 4 form of a, so that, so what is the total number? This is total number of total number of hybrid orbitals. How many now? What is the total number of hybrid orbitals? Can you guess? So we have four, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. Okay. So next, what is the pure orbitals? Pure orbitals mean number of hydrogens. Yeah, number of hydrogens like a three or nine. Three, four, three, seven. Plus uh, how many pi bonds? Two pi bonds. Yeah. 
means uh, it is not in the simple ratio okay we are doing any mistake four 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 okay seven hydrogens three four seven hydrogens next uh, pi bonds two pi bonds two pi bonds mean three groups okay no doubt so what is the now ratio is uh, not in simple ratio 11 is to 16 pure orbital is the first property pure 11 is 16 okay okay this is the hybridization in uh, carbon atoms Ali uh, said at the starting I said uh, we try to this method uh, applying for uh, other molecules also as other molecules can uh, there is also formation of uh, there is also presence of some lone pair of electrons so maximum carbon 4 bonds forms a system carbon involved in 4 bonds covered carbon by a lone pair so it's a choice link okay so cover to our direct the number of sigma bonds last number for example, take the nitrogen, oxygen, so any other atoms except to carbon. So any other atoms key, so direct the sig sigma bonds as a child's label. Because there are also presence of lone pairs. Lone pairs could not do it. A lone pairs could then clone them only hybrid orbital sound. For example, if you take ammonia, NH3. So NH3, lo, we discussed that sp3 hybrid orbitals. But it is having only three sigma bonds with three hydrogens. Now, what about that lone pair? What about that fourth sp3? The fourth sp3 having lone pair of electrons. And then lone pair could have count three. If it is possible to count the number of uh, sigma bonds and lone pairs, then it is uh, uh, easy to determine the hybridization of other molecules also. If you know that molecules, it's okay, but we don't know that some molecules, uh, so they are having uh, uh, how many lone pairs on it. Okay, let's check that uh, topic, the concept. So that is, uh, just write a note. Uh, the number of... Uh, The number of hybrid orbitals. The number of hybrid orbitals. Other molecules can exist. So there is number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pair of electrons. Okay. So this will be treated as a formula. The number of hybrid orbitals equal number of sigma bonds plus number of lone pair of electrons. So hybrid orbitals with us. If you get the four at the sp3. So only molecules so check them. For example, NH3. So already we know the shape of NH3. So NH3 gurinchi idea on the having one lone pair. So normally flu. So then the hybridization, I like to say, nitrogen hybridization equal to and nothing but number of hybrid orbitals send off the market. Number of hybrid orbitals equal to number of sigma bonds. Three sigma bonds, one lone pair only. So one lone pair, four and ten, that is sp3. And if you have one lone pair, then you have an idea. Rahali. Okay, then only this method is suitable. For example, if you take a water molecule, so water molecule allowed to make it is having two lone pairs on it and a number of lone pairs sir so you need to get idea about that so number of hybrid orbitals and of say two sigma bonds two lone pairs four covered that is a sp2 sorry sp3 
ఇంతటి ఈ మెథడ్ మనం ఫాలో అవ్వాలి అంటే కంపల్సరీగా లోన్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ లోన్ పేస్ ఆన్ సెంట్రల్ ఐటమ్ ఐడియా ఉండాలి ఓకే అన్నోన్ మాలిక్యూల్స్కి ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ కరెక్ట్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ లోన్ పేస్ లేకపోతే దట్ ఈస్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ బీసీఎల్ త్రీ సో బీసీఎల్ త్రీలో బోరాన్ ట్రైక్లోరైడ్లో డైరెక్ట్గా నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ సిగ్మా బాండ్స్ అసలు లోన్ పేస్ ఉండవు దాంట్లో సీడ్స్ హైబ్రిడైజేషన్ టాపిక్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ సిగ్మా బాండ్స్ సిగ్మా బాండ్స్ త్రీ ఉంటే లోన్ పేర్స్ ఉండవు దాంట్లో ఎస్పీ టూ అంటే లోన్ పేర్ లేకపోతే లేకపోతే ఇట్స్ నో ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ పీసీఎల్ ఫైవ్ ఓకే సో పీసీఎల్ ఫైవ్ వాట్ ఇస్ షేప్ దిస్ ఇస్ సిఎల్ ఓకే సో ట్రై టు హియర్ హౌ మెనీ టోటల్ సిగ్మా బాండ్స్ ఫైవ్ సిగ్మా బాండ్స్ నో లోన్ పేర్స్ సో ఫైవ్ కాబట్టి డైరెక్ట్ గా వికెన్ రైట్ SP3 direct loan pairs would be that is a difficult Let's see that uh, so for example PCL3 so actually the phosphorus is a 15th group it is having 5 valence electrons man kapate maximum times man guess cheyachu ipudu phosphorus what is the group of phosphorus 15th group and how many valence electrons are present in it 5 valence electrons so 5 valence electrons to 5 bonds form share actually 5 valence electrons to 5 bonds form share so can any bonds form this 3 bonds a form this so remaining 2 ela unte ante lone pairs so atla kuda konni guess cheyachu so therefore number of hybrid orbitals sigma bonds plus one lone pair that is sp3 so let's next uh, the very important uh, xenon compounds are also very important xcf2 okay so xcf2 actually the xenon is having a this is xcf2 uh, actually the, what is that xenon is a noble gas noble gas covered that low how many electrons should be there eight electrons in its valence so eight electrons in it but so okay total the two bonds formation టూ బాండ్స్ అంటే ఓన్లీ టూ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ యూజ్ అయిపోయాడు ఫ్లోరిన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఉంటుంది కదా అంటే ఎగ్జినా నుంచి వన్ బాండ్కి వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ ఎగ్జినానికి వన్ ఎలక్ ఈ బాండ్కి ఎగ్జినా నుంచి వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ పోయింది అంటే ఎగ్జినా యూజ్ ఓన్లీ టూ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఇంకా దాంట్లో ఎన్ని పాజిటివ్ ఉంటాయి సిక్స్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ ఉంది దాన్ని ఇంకా వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ సిక్స్ అంటే సిక్స్ ఈ టూ బాండ్స్ లో వన్ వన్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్ మొత్తం ఎయిట్ ఎలక్ట్రాన్స్ అయిపోయింది సో ద నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ హైబ్రోబిటల్స్ ఎంత వస్తాం sigma bonds how many sigma bonds two sigma bonds so how many lone pair of electron number of ap lone pair of electrons okay uh, this is five so five was there is sp3 d sp3 d so number of lone pairs సో జీనాన్ కాంపౌండ్స్ మనకి వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ అందుకని జీనాన్ సంబంధించిన డిఫరెంట్ కాంపౌండ్స్ లో సో డిఫరెంట్ సో జీనాన్ సో వాట్ ఈస్ దీనాన్ ఇస్ లైక్ దిస్ ఓకే జీనీన్ దిస్ ఇస్ అీనాన్ Uh, it has how many bonds? Four bonds. It has four bonds. Actually, it has zero bonds. It has eight electrons. So, eight electrons are nothing but uh, four bonds form. You know, one bond is one bond electron use. Okay. So, one bond electron use. You know, four electrons complete. You know, you have four bonds. So, here one more lone pair. Here one more lone pair of electrons are present. And in total, the number of... Uh, హైబ్రిడ్ ఆర్బిటాల్స్ ఈ ఫోర్ బాండ్స్ ఫామ్ అయినాయి మొత్తం టూ పేర్స్ ఉన్నాయి స్పీ త్రీ డి టూ సిక్స్ ఫామ్ అయ్యాయి కాబట్టి ఓకే సో సో లైక్ దిస్ యూ కెన్ డూ ద మెనీ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ఓకే సో యూ కెన్ ట్రై ద అదర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ ట్రై దిస్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్స్ 
xcf6 c2f4 it's a carbon compound carbon dioxide in this example okay the worksheet we will give more examples